The Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge, or AVLB, is the Army's lightning-fast answer to overcoming water obstacles. An immense insta-bridge, stretching a river romping 32 feet long and 13 feet 1 inch wide. Marshaled by a Detroit diesel V12 engine, packing 750 ponies, this bulletproof private takes to the battlefield at 63 tons. That is the weight of 30 cars. Staff Sergeant Jeffrey L. Griffith has been launching this mobile mega bridge since the 1990s. But for Jeff, it's an experience straight out of the 1500s. This thing feels like driving a medieval siege engine. Hey, if you can picture yourself back in the, the days year ago, whenever they're pushing that tower up to the castle wall, this is the tower, find the castle wall, you're there. The AVLB is the armored vehicle launch bridge. It's a system consisting of the carrier, which is an M48 tank chassis. It was stripped down, they welded this all in the front of it and converted it into a launcher. It's a launching platform used to launch, retrieve, and transport the bridge that it hauls, which is the scissor bridge. And this is no flimsy bridge built for civilians. This 30,000-pound aluminum structure can extend 60 feet to bridge a gap, and then support an astonishing 60 tons of traffic. That's the weight of more than 20 minivans, or more importantly, just about anything the Army can roll over it. The bridge will support M88s. It'll support everything that we have in the Army inventory, depending on the size of the gap. This is how the uh, AVLB system works. First of all, you have the cables. They wrap around the uh, cam in the middle, which is hooked to a huge hydraulic cylinder, which gives the bridge the leverage when you start raising that up after you have the bridge up on top. It raises the entire bridge up to what we call the vertical position. Okay, once you have it in the vertical position, then you have to work two levers at the same time. You have to work number two and number three. Now what number two and number three does is actuates the scissor cylinder within the bridge, which causes the bridge to unfold. The AVLB even launches some subterfuge to keep the enemy misty about what the military's up to. These are the rear grills. This is where the, all the exhaust gases come out of the back of the tank. As a provided uh, security feature, the system uh, allows for you to be concealed from the enemy. The way it does it is it dumps raw diesel fuel into the exhaust, which makes a big cloud of smoke and covers the entire vehicle and the bridge that you're attempting to launch and basically uh, obscures you from the enemy. But despite the AVLB smokescreen, in the heat of battle, no machine is invincible. So the AVLB's mission is to move fast and deploy double quick or face the fury of enemy fire. Okay, the bridge can be launched in two to five minutes. If you're being shot at, two to five minutes can be a long time. But consider the other options. The other options would be manually in place bridging which takes a platoon of people, that's about 30 soldiers, about four hours to in place across the 60-foot gap. I think this piece of equipment is valued and trusted on the battlefield. It's maintenance intensive, but also a very dependable piece of equipment. So when the Army enters into the fray, when they need to turn an impasse, into an overpass. The armored vehicle launched bridge is always within reach. What impresses me about the AVLB is when it's used in a battlefield scenario, it saves lives. That's the bottom line there. 
The way it saves lives is because it gets us across an enemy obstacle expediently. We don't have to stop, we don't have to wait, we don't have to go around. You just plop the bridge down and drive over it so we can go get the bad guys.